Welcome to Fisher Toolbox Dog Training. In this session, we will be demonstrating correct installation of concrete screw Fisher UltraCut FBS6. FBS6 is available in five different head finishes. Pan head, countersunk, hexagonal head with a built-in washer. We do have also M8 or M10 threaded version and very popular internally threaded socket with M8 and M10 internal thread. FBS6 is ETA approved for multiple use redundant non-structural applications in concrete and also in pre-stress hollow floor slabs. Longer sizes with nominal embedment depths of at least 40 mm have also ETA option 1 approval and seismic rating C1. FBS6 also benefits from 2 hours fire resistant classification. In addition to concrete, it can be used also in solid, dense masonry. Thanks to a small hole diameter and shallow embedment depths, FBS6 concrete screws are perfect for applications where reduced drilling is required, for example, when fixing into densely reinforced concrete. Concrete screws are also ideal for projects required fast and simple installation. This is thanks to their efficient and very simple setting, and we will be demonstrating that very shortly. FBS6 can be also fully removed, can be also adjusted uh, up to 20 mm, and it's a very popular choice for any MEP applications. Fisher Technical also offer value engineering where we can help you with design. For example, when we know what sort of load is required, we can calculate what embedment depths you require for the application. And depending on the load requirement uh, you have, we can select correct length fixing. So we do have the performance values for variable embedment depths. So that is another benefit um, to try to uh, offer savings on material, for example, using the shorter concrete screws, but also savings on installation where we will reduce the drilling and installation time will be shorter. With uh, internal threaded concrete screw, we have two lengths. If you use the shorter one, permissible load are 1.7 kilonewtons. If that's not enough, we can select the longer one, 6 by 55, and then permissible load is 4 kilonewtons. Before you start, it's also very important you make sure you have all correct installation tools and accessories. In this case, it will be very simple. We will need only 6mm drill bit and correct impact wrench. If you are installing fixing horizontally, you would need to also clean a hole. For vertical installation, we don't have to do any hole cleaning, but if you are drilling downwards, you would have to increase the drill hole depth by three times uh, screw diameter. So in this case, instead of uh, in drilling, for example, 45 millimeter, you will be drilling to 63 millimeters. Check you have correct anchor lengths as specified, taking into account any fixture thickness you might have and any non-load bearing layers where applicable. Otherwise, you might not achieve the specified embedment depths and load will be reduced. Also, you will need to have the correct socket. Uh, if you are installing internally threaded M8 M10 anchor, we will need 13 mm diameter socket. All of the information is on a packaging, on a box. And also, in every box, you have very important guidance on correct installation these leaflets and they provide information how to install it correctly and also ratings on an impact wrench because uh, impact wrenches come uh, in different rating. In this case, for 6mm concrete screw, we will be recommending to use FF FSS 400 impact wrench because that has maximum rating 400 Newton meters. You can adjust it by different settings because if you are installing concrete screw with shallow embedment depth, then um, torque needs to be reduced from 450 to only 80 Newton meters. If you are fixing into masonry, that has to be reduced even further. For example, here, maybe 10, 12 Newton meters. So always refer to this leaflet, which will give you all this information. If you are installing FBS 6x35, instead of using impact wrench, you can do it also manually, but then your maximum torque is only 12 Newton meters. 
So before you start, make sure you have full PPE. And now we are ready to do the installation. So now we are going to install FBS 6x35 M8 M10 internally threaded concrete screw. So for that we'll need to drill 6mm hole. Make sure it's quality PGA mark drill bit. Check it's not worn, so check for any wear marks. Uh, regarding the drilling, uh, make sure you are at least 35mm from the edge. Uh, concrete screws are designed very well. The thread is uh, optimized, so that will allow us to fix the uh, fixing very close to the edge. We have market leading performance. Also, minimum axial spacing is only 35 millimeter. By the way, if you have fire rated applications, edge distance has to be increased to 70 millimeter. And if you have two edges, it has to be increased to 300 mil. With regards to drilling, we have to drill, if you go overhead, 45 mm. It's all specified in a box, but if you are drilling downwards, the drill hole depth would have to be increased to 63 mm. We don't have to clean a hole, so we simply drive the concrete screw in. Done! So quick summary, make sure you have correct anchor as specified, have correct tools and installation accessories for the job, use PGM mark quality drill bit and make sure it's not worn, check wear marks, drill to correct diameter and correct depth. If fixing horizontally, don't forget to clean a hole. When fixing vertically, hole cleaning can be omitted. However, when you are drilling downwards, Increase drill hole depth by three times screw diameter, so in this case 18 mm. Use appropriate impact driver with correct rating. And insert concrete screw fully into the concrete until the washer is firmly seated against the concrete or the fixture. And at this point stop, because otherwise you will be overstressing the fixing. If fixing into other base material than concrete, also don't forget observe reduce installation torque values quoted in an installation leaflet. For any further details or assistance, contact Fisher Technical Helpline on 01491 827920, visit our website www.fisher.co.uk or download Fisher Professional app. Thank you for watching.